Okay, good evening. Um, I'll call to order the Farmington Board of Education meeting for Monday, June 18th, 2018. Um, if we can all stand and pledge allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Next item on the agenda, item five, consideration superintendent's report, 5A, engage learning update. So we, I'll start by saying we had an outstanding graduation night uh, for the class of 2018. Each speech, speech really represented the students of that class um, and their commitment to excellence as well as their commitment to service. Uh, messages of kindness and joy, excellence, service to others and compassion were all heard that evening. And I really want to um, commend Chris for representing the Board of Education um, and all the board members who attended. Um, and I, I thought that it was just a night of celebration for our students. Um, as far as the engaged learning update, uh, the SLC participated in the Greater Hartford Walk for Autism Speaks. West District, there's gonna be a theme here, participated in Relay Recess to benefit Relay for Life. Noah Wallace's Running Club participated in the Fit Kids One Mile uh, through the Simsbury Iron Horse Marathon. So those were all really having to do with fitness and um, giving back. And then East Farm shared celebrations of learning and West District highlighted super reader strategies that they use throughout the year to become stronger readers. So those were just some of the highlights. Thank you for summoning perfect weather for Friday. I, like, it didn't look so good. It was, it was beautiful. Earlier in the day, so yeah. we were happy that we had a beautiful night. And it was, it was a, it was a great night. Um, okay, thank you. Uh, any questions or comments for Kathy? Chris? Yes, and listen. I just, I just wanted to commend uh, the entire administration from the high school, especially about the graduation. I thought that the theme of really caring for the students and kindness and love was just so refreshing. And, um, you know, for people who weren't able to be there or did, had no reason to be there, they should know that this administration uh, really, really cares about about the students. And um, we're very lucky to, to be here in Farmington because of that. Thank you. Okay, any, anyone else? Okay, next item on the agenda, 5B, professional appointments, retirements, and resignations, of which we have a couple, right? Mm -hmm. I'm just not sure if one of them, Kim, could you just verify, are they both resignations? I think one's a retirement. One is a retirement. Yeah, so Chris Garahan is a retirement. Is retirement, okay, it's under resignations, yeah, okay. And then you see that you Pointed Nicole Fivert <laughs> to Westwood's <laughs> assistant principal position. Okay. All right, any questions or comments? Okay, thank you. Uh, next item on the agenda 6A budget impact budget update. Vince? Busy time of the year um, uh, in the business office as we um, uh, bring the current budget to a close and, and start thinking about the new um, um, budget. Um, First thing I'll mention is just on grant funds. Um, with the exception of um, some limited um, breakfast and lunch reimbursement type funds for the cafeterias, which will normally come in a little bit later, um, the grant funds are in and, um, and on target with what we were expecting. Um, and uh, uh, a good sign actually came in, the, in regards to an award letter already for a grant for next year for um, Augustine Co. Francesco's um, Multicultural Arts um, Program. So he was, he got his award letter on Friday. Mm -hmm. And it's just a little bit higher than this current um, year. So he's he's been awarded $99,958 for 
programming for um, next year. And that was, um, I thought it was terrific that he got his notification now because in this last round, because of the state's um, issues, he didn't get his notification <laughs> until deep into the fiscal year and it created a lot of problems for his programming. So that's a good thing. Um, uh, another type of um, positive um, um, update for the board, um, we just have concluded our um, negotiations and renewal with Cigna and um, uh, it'll, it actually will end in a small, um, around $15,000 um, budget efficiency um, for our health insurance for um, next year. Um, so, uh, so that's good. Um, and um, the, uh, we're spending, because as I'm closing out this um, current fiscal year, I'm looking at things that are, have trended not as good as um, um, what we've seen in the past. And, Liz had pointed it out a few um, meetings back, and I've been um, carefully following it. The um, um, uh, special education transportation um, lines. So Dawn Grayson and Beth and I are spending a lot of time looking at that. Um, we had a meeting again today, just looking at the number of new students who came into district and and um, how how we at what point we added vehicles and and added contracts to it. And um, some of what I'm finding is that some of the um, um, special education out of district transportation that we've had to add has been longer runs. Um, so we specifically added some runs to um, Enfield to different, to uh, further away than what we have in the past um, um, runs. And that's incurring us, incurring. But just in general, we've added um, more. Um, um, vehicles and we've added more wheelchair vehicles um, and they're in a different rate category too um, so I'm I um, am really looking into that you know so that's what I have okay thank you Vince any questions or comments for Vince okay thank you Vince um, Next item on the agenda, seven, uh, new business, 7A, consideration administrator. I guess if at this point in time I can have a motion to go into executive session. Motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Okay, we'll go into session. Okay, uh, okay we're back in session. Um, under new business item seven, uh, can I have 7B, approval of an appointment of administrator? Can I have a motion to approve the superintendent's recommendation to appoint Scott Hurwitz to the position of principal of Irving Robbins Middle School, effective July 2, 2018? Motion. Second. Unanimous. With a unanimous second. Move for it to be unanimous. We can move to be unanimous second. Unanimous. Okay. Unanimous second. A motion on the table. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? Scott, congratulations and welcome to Farmington. I would just like to say, having you know, met you, having spent time at your school, meeting administrators in town, parents and teachers, what a distinct honor and privilege it was to get to know you through the process. And I, on behalf of the board, and I will certainly open up to the board if anyone wants to say anything, that we, we are honored to have you join our district and we can't wait for you to start. So. I feel very honored that you're going to be in charge of my kid next year. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I would just say, you know, throughout the process, I've been incredibly impressed with the teachers, the community members. I've had a chance to interact with the administration here. I'm excited for all the to be joining this community and joining IAR in a few short weeks. Great. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I so. <laughs> I, we're just, I just would like to say something just on behalf of the administrators, teachers, um, the whole Farmington Schools community, you know, throughout the process, I really want to um, highlight your, the importance you place on relationships. I think that's something that uh, we are known for here in Farmington, and it's so important that we have a lead learner who also believes in that. Um, you're also a very skilled instructional leader. We, we highly value that as a school district, and an individual who deeply um, aligns to our mission and vision. And we did see that throughout the process and it was a very rigorous process, multiple levels. And um, so we just, we welcome you to Farmington and we're excited to, you know, to begin the work together. So am I. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, uh, Neva, matter of housekeeping, if I can have a motion to move item uh, 4A from the 6 o'clock meeting to make that the new 7C under the 7 o'clock meeting agenda, the approval of the superintendent school's contract renewal. Can I have a motion for motion. that? Motion. Second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? <laughs> Okay, so the next matter on the agenda will be item 7C, approval of superintendent schools contract renewal. If I can have a motion to approve the renewal of the superintendent's contract for the period of July 1, 2018 through June 30th, 2021, with an increase of 2% for the 2018-2019 school year. Motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? Congratulations. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Okay, uh, next item on the agenda, item 8A, approval of the financial report dated May 2018. Vince? Um, the, the, um, this is the May um, uh, financials, and um, we have applied the um, excess cost um, uh, revenue in this um, financial and started to apply some of the other um, um, revenues. The, uh, again, as I said, under budget impact, budget update and budget impact about um, um, the transportation um, line, I'm spending a lot of time um, looking at that. I still am spending time looking at um, the nurses, special education nurses' salaries, special education consultations and evaluations. Um, so, but otherwise it is um, um, coming out, thankfully, um, in line with what um, we were expecting. Okay. Any questions or comments for Vince on the report? Okay. Can I have a motion to approve the financial report dated May 2018? Motion. Bless you. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? Okay. Thank you. Um, Item 10, report of the board chair. I guess at this point in time, given it's our last meeting, I would just like to, again, thank everybody for another uh, year. You know, uh, we confront our challenges and we respond to them, and I think we've accomplished good things uh, collectively with uh, Kathy and the administrators. Um, so I just want to thank everybody for their dedication and efforts over the year. And uh, it really means a lot to me, and I know it means a lot to everybody in the district. So um, again, thank you for that. And hopefully everybody can recharge their batteries, spend some quality time with their families, and enjoy the summer. So uh, you know, thank you very much. Thank you, Chris. OK, uh, next item 10, consideration committee reports, personnel negotiations. Mark, um, that I think is the 26th is the next meeting. So we've exchanged proposals, um, and we'll be considering that at the 26th. B, 10B, uh, policy, Christine? No current meetings. OK. 10C, curriculum, Michelle? No current meeting schedule, but we anticipate meeting in the fall. OK. A workshop. And 10D, communications, Ellen? I just saw the draft of the summer newsletter. It looks amazing and will be going out to families probably in the next couple weeks. of weeks. Yeah. Okay. okay, next item on the agenda 11, report of committee liaisons. Crack, uh, no update. Focus, Bill. Uh, they're meeting over the summer, and I'll, I'll, br I'll brief the board on that meeting in the fall. Okay, thank you. Public School Foundation, Christine? September 4th is the next meeting. Okay. It feels weird to say that. <laughs> <laughs> That's hard to believe. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be here before we know exactly. it, too. Uh, Interscholastic Committee, Christy? We actually had our meeting tonight. Um, we had a great um, spring season. Um, the only thing that is changing in the fall, there's actually a couple of coaching changes. Um, boys JV coach for soccer, and then the girls soccer. They're both getting new coaches, which are actually um, physical education teachers here in town. So, um, and it seems like they're both young and very excited to get started, so. Great, thank you. Uh, Chamber of Commerce, Michelle. <coughs> yes, I'd like to announce that we awarded um, Elijah Dion a $1,000 scholarship at the awards night. So, mm -hmm. had a great time meeting him. Um, also, we're working with Christy on um, collaborating with Junior Achievement to get the um, work opportunities and work experience going with that. And we're also getting a head start for Capstone and having the Chamber get actively involved in the Capstone program. Okay, okay thank you. Green efforts, Andrea? Nothing new. Nothing? Okay. Ad hoc cafeteria, Liz? Uh, we, nothing new since the last time I reported. Okay. Health and wellness, Ellen? No report. Okay. 
Chris, may I ask? Um, yes, you may. Now that we have the two ad hoc committees with the town council, will there be item agendas uh, These added to this report of committee liaisons, or would that yes. be under? Uh, okay. Yeah, we'll put it. We'll, we'll make sure as part of our communication efforts that that will be part of the, uh, the reporting and on uh, every occasion, every step. Yep. Thank you. Yep. Okay. Uh, again, I just have everybody have a great summer. If I can have a motion to adjourn. Okay. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? Is that a unanimous? It is. <laughs> <laughs> We're adjourned. <laughs>